What's up, fellas? PJ's here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my channel. I uh, figured I would try to combine a bunch of videos, so uh, I'm going to probably do about four videos in one and combine everything. Uh, we had our huge uh, meeting of the Super Friends weekend this past weekend. You guys probably all seen on Mr. Sensitivity's channel. Um, really, really cool to get to meet everyone and uh, everyone that I've been watching, like James and Matt, Mr. Sensitive, Mr. Sen Mr. Sensitivity. Sorry, stuttering. I'm still so excited. Um, Seth, James, and Matt. Uh, Davis even met up with us. He's a local guy. Uh, Kyle even met up with us. He's a local guy. Nice group that we went hunting with and found a lot of cool things. Um, so that's what this video is about. I'm gonna merge the videos. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm back. So I wanted to start off by saying uh, thank you to Mr. Sensitivity for driving down here. Uh, he knew that James and Matt were gonna be here, so he thought it was a great opportunity to come meet all of us at one, one stop. Um, really, really nice guy to talk to. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance to meet Seth in person, uh, do it, because he's an awesome guy. He's going through surgery right now, I, get, I think it's like three different procedures, um, so our thoughts and our prayers uh, should be with Seth at this time uh, while he goes through this procedure and, and gets on the road to recovery, so that's what we'll be praying for. So, um, Right off the bat though, he brought us all Houston Texans jerseys and... Uh, we all started signing them and giving each other, uh, signing each other's jerseys just for the group meeting uh, that, that we got to do in Houston, Texas. So I thought that was so cool, Seth, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I think Shear's trying to go get uh, a few other signatures in LA right now as we speak. So that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to try to carry this around everywhere I go. And uh, other YouTubers that I meet, uh, I know we saw Gino Gomez at the flea market. You're going to sign this if I see you and I have this jersey. Um, Izzy was supposed to come out. It is for you to enjoy. Um, he got tied up in, in some work issues, but he wasn't able to make it. So maybe next time for sure. Um, I need you to sign this jersey too. So lots of super friends coming together, and that's what this community is all about. Um, sharing it with everybody. Um, sharing the experience and knowledge that we, that we have through doing our customs. And um, sharing uh, some awesome REOK boxes and trade boxes. So... Thank you, Seth. I've got a huge haul of Matchbox collection over here that Seth, uh, he brought out, out like three or four boxes for us to go through. He's like, just pick whatever you want. And he brought a little RC car. We were driving around the parking lot, having fun. Um, and it was it was awesome experience. Real hot. So, other than it being hot, it was pretty awesome experience. So. Just want to say, uh, you guys remember to keep Seth in your prayers while he goes through this, uh, goes through a couple of procedures, and um, he'll soon be on the road to recovery. So uh, I'm gonna merge into another video now and show you some finds and some past boxes that I forgot to give shout-outs to. Um, just been real busy this weekend with everybody coming to town, and uh, uh, it's been an awesome weekend. So this is gonna be a, a culmination of multiple videos. I'm um, going to try to get it all done in one shot, so here we go. First on the list is Derek Moray. Sent me a box. Sent me a lucky hauler that he thought I didn't have, but I do. So I'll keep this for somebody else for sure. But, you know, even if I have it, I'm either going to customize it or pass it along to someone who can use it, um, as what we all do. So, uh... I try not to keep doubles or multiples of things, so if someone else can use this one, let me know. If you're looking for it, please let me know. Nice little NASCAR up there, too. Nice tempos on that, too. That's pretty sweet. Thank you, Derek. Uh, D-Rock. And then this one I don't have. This is the Osco Drug Save-On Hauler. Pretty cool. Limited edition. And I will crack the bottom one on camera. Try to save all my crackings for in video. Check it out. It's going right in the display case. Yeah, buddy. Highway hollers. 
All right, I'm gonna merge into another video. All right, this shout out goes to Tanner Brinkley, Binkley, Tanner Binkley. Um, made a little trade with him. He's a friend of Mopar Matt's and Gogo, -Go, so uh, he told me he had something. I was like, yeah, I, I definitely need it. I'm definitely interested in it. So um, I just got his box out yesterday or today. Uh, speaking of, I sent about three boxes out. I sent Tanner's out. Uh, sent another buddy of mine, Macon's out. Um, he should be getting a boomer of a box. And uh, Joe Motor 49, got your return fire, buddy. So this is from Tanner Chase. This is a 1992 Chevy Camaro Z28. Auto World Chase piece, really, really nice. Dig in the detail on these Auto Worlds, just nice. Headlights, taillights, really awesome. Cool. Thanks, Tanner, appreciate it. Uh, merge on to another video. Making multiple videos like this, you get to take breaks in between the videos, so it's pretty cool. Um, Matt Slycord and James came down this past weekend, I've already said that, but this is a little something that Matt brought me for my birthday. Um, and I know there's probably something else around here, Matt, that I just didn't grab that wasn't in the box that, that I already cracked open or something or put on display. Hang on a second, I'll grab it right now. I just remembered what it was, so hang tight and grabbing it out of the display. Oh, fall back down. Oh, uh, Matt Slycord, my buddy Matt, uh, hooked me up with a mystery machine. He knows I love the mystery machines. Can never have too many TV cars. I love them all. Um, and then he hooked me up with some Jetsons too. So got a few Jetsons here. Can never have too many TV cars. Uh, and there's probably something else, but this was the big thing that uh, that he actually rao would me for my birthday. Uh, last week and that's the power wagon this is the orange power wagon I uh, told him I was gonna go after all four of them I think there's only four this one uh, a green one a pink one and a yellow one uh, the pink one is like the dinner car or something but this these will go straight into my display case in fact I just grabbed this one out of the display case ever since I saw uh, I think Joe Motor 49 has all four of them I had to go after them love these power wagons just really really cool nice off-road vehicle and just awesome just awesome so thank you Matt I appreciate that I'm gonna roll into another video <laughs> actually also forgot to show this one uh, this is from Matt Slycord also uh, the super twin mill he knew he knew that I needed number two so this was from him also so gonna throw that one in there uh, also wanted to give a shout out to Macon um, this guy sent me like four or five boxes already and I finally just was able to hit him back with a boom of a box hopefully he'll videotape it um, I don't know if I showed you this one he sent me this one the fat fendered 40 really nice I'm probably gonna crack that event uh, let's crack it now Macon would appreciate it he would want me to crack it Set it free. There I go, orange again. What's up with my camera? <laughs> Camera's acting all weird. Hold on, let's get some light in here. Nope, still on orange. There it is. Fat Fender 40 cracked and set free. Nice heavy casting. I love that. It's kind of like a mobster vehicle. Pretty cool. And then he also sent me a super Greenwood Corvette, kind of on a ditched up card. So I'll probably go ahead and crack that. What do you think? Yeah, buddy. Cracking the super. Check it out. Cracking. There's a hangnail. Look at that hangnail. I got it. <laughs> Cracking the super. Sorry. There was a piece of hair on my phone. Uh, really, really nice. Love it. There's the top of it. TH logo. Cool. Zoom. Pretty cool. That will go on my display case also. I'm going for some loose supers uh, and a couple of rows on my display cases, so that's really, really sweet to have. Um, I think he sent me something else too, but I can't find it. Uh, I've got stuff kind of all over the place in here, and I'm doing this video so I can get organized after this video. So thank you, Macon. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to him, go hit him up. 
he's going to be opening my box uh, probably on Thursday. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to, to his channel to see that box. M-A-I-C-O-N. I'm going to roll this into the next part of the video. Stay tuned. <laughs> this is fun. See, I'm not orange anymore. The next shout out goes to Smooth Criminal. If you guys haven't subscribed to Scro Smooth Criminal, really cool guy. He sent me a couple customs he did, and I'm, I'm amazed at the work that he puts into these customs. It's, uh, it's really cool when someone sends you, sends you a custom and it shows you how much work they put into it. You can kind of see the creativity that they have uh, and the work that they put into it. Why did I say that like three times now? This one, this Cadillac is sweet. I think this is a matchbox. Yep. Look at them. Look at them. Slick fat meats on it. <laughs> really cool casting. That, that wheel, those wheels go really good with this casting. That looks sweet. And yes, they roll. Bling, and that will go up on my uh, custom shelf over here that I'm making. And then he sent me this. I don't even know what names he uses for these, but look at that. That's sweet. Look at how high those back wheels are. This actually sits down really nice and just flush with the with the table or whatever it's on. Puts a lot of work into these, and, and it, it's truly awesome to see how much detail and his creativity that he has. Uh, I'm going to hit him back with a big box. Uh, hopefully by the end of the week I can get his box together so smooth criminal you stay tuned I'm gonna hook you up with a bomb package and here's the other one that he sent look at the dual blown motors on that thing that thing is sick Jeep back end just awesome 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 just sick awesome the detail is awesome in these things amazed this is like the when James was here, uh, we were checking him out and we were, we were just blown away that the creativity that this guy has in, in meshing uh, multiple vehicles together. So if you, you haven't checked him out, go subscribe to him. Smooth Criminal. Check it out. Cool. On to the next video. <laughs> what am I at, like 20 minutes now? So I think this might be the last part of this video. Um, this is what James brought me when he got here. If you guys don't know, James and I have the birthday, uh, have our birthdays on the same exact day. Uh, last Thursday, I think it was. This weekend's flown by because I had so many cool people here. Uh, July 24th is our birthday, so it was it was awesome to share it with him and happy birth, happy belated birthday to you. And uh, this is what he brought from Florida uh, for me. I'm getting confused. I got so much stuff here. This is the Dilly Bars Dairy Queen Johnny Lightning. Look at the detail on that thing. Sweet. Just amazing. Kind of going to go pretty fast. So I got a few things here to show you guys. Hot Wheels Mother's Mini Cooper. <laughs> if you guys don't know, James is, James is also collecting Mini Coopers. So to give him, uh, for him to give me one of his Mini Coopers is pretty awesome. That thing is just sweet. Matchbox Hero City with the flag on top. Really, really cool. Those wheels look pretty cool on there too. That's awesome. Another Johnny Lightning Stock Car Legends. This is Buddy Baker, number 21. Look at the tampo work on that thing. Valvoline. Really cool. Haha, <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones. I saw this in his video. Coco Puff Cereal. Johnny Lightning Racing Dreams. That is sweet. I'm into these Johnny Lightnings big time. Uh, just the detail that they have um, is amazing. Hot Wheels Custom Corvette. That is nice. Got some Ultra Hots on it. Nice. And a Protecto on the wall. That one I showed already. Ah, oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Mug root beer, pretty cool. Not too into the NASCARs, but I am into like the theme that they have on it. It's just amazing. I know Joe Motor 49 has showed a couple of times 
Uh, they always have like some nice information on the back of these cards and just awesome themes on every car so it's really cool. Uh, any TV things like that. Uh, I'm into planters, uh, peanuts, snacks from the snack series. Smith snacks! Pretty cool. Tire is coming off right there. Maybe it needs to come out. He set free. Uh, got a couple of things right there. Johnny Lightning authentic diecast repli replica of a Pontiac Firebird. Check that beast out. Pretty cool. Hey, maybe that could be my little intro for each car. <laughs> All right, no, just say no. Uh, the Challenger's Johnny Lightning. These two right here, he had to show me. I didn't even see it. These are from, I uh, guess, a toy show convention, limited edition. Uh, one of 3,500. See the little button right there? One of 3,500 on each of them. That's a bad looking beetle right there. Sweet. And then this one is just off the chain. Porsche 930 taped up to protect the blister uh, just because it's so old. This is from 1991 copyright. But I'm, I might crack that someday. And then he sent me some minifigs. Check it out! Every bin that I saw uh, for the most part here at Target in Houston these things were, were already gone through and uh, either somebody came along and bought the whole thing or a couple of collectors hit it too and that's okay I just didn't get to it in time or didn't have money at the time when I saw it um, so really really cool to get Krusty the Clown and all them little characters from the Simpsons pretty cool pretty cool those will go up on my uh, Lego minifig display also uh, that's right. Back to Matt. He sent me a couple minifigs that he had duplicates of. Look at that welder dude. That's cool. And then I got a little funky lady right there. Funky Cole Medina. And then Sword Ninja guy. Look at the pew pew ninja. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Thank you again, Matt. Uh, back to James hard to remember where all this stuff came from. We were all just in this room the other day. Look at that. Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse that I don't have. Bam, bam. Didn't have that one. Really cool to have that one. And then look at this hot bird. Got some funky nail polish paint all over it. Really cool though. Um, just a sparkly, sparkly vehicle. I love me some hot birds and I love me some highway haulers. Uh, and then we, we were able to go to um, Trader's Village. Uh, we went to one of the shops there and found a loose super that that meant something to me and has always meant something to me because it's my birthday. But just the fact too that James was there with me and I had to buy it. Turns out I went to go use the restroom because I couldn't hold it anymore. I came back and James had already bought it. so. This super is awesome. 24. I will always think of our birthdays on this day, July 24. That's just a mean, mean car. Datsun 240Z. Mean, mean super right there. It's just sick. Just awesome. So thank you again, James. That one's awesome. Uh, that will go in my display. And then we were able to meet up with uh, some guy, thanks to DVS Preg Davis was telling us that this guy's getting rid of some of his collection. Um, he's going through hard times right now, going through a divorce, and he was getting rid of some of his cars. Um, he had a friend there to help him out on how to price things, and, and I felt like both parties got uh, a fair deal. Uh, we were there for like two minutes, and James had already plucked out some awesome items. Uh, he goes, hey, PJ, look what I found. I'm like, oh, you bastard. <laughs> This is one that he found, but he already had it, so he bought it for me. I already bought it and gave it to me. I'm gonna crack it right now. I didn't have this. I don't have any of these colors with rear riders. Look at that chrome flame job on the side. That's sweet. 
It's like a lime green, really, really cool. Gotta do it. Next one up is the gold one. I thought you said you didn't have the gold one. If you need this back, let me know and I'll ship it to you with all this other stuff here. Uh, or the red one. I think you took the red one. Look at that. Just beast. Pretty cool. Uh, I guess that's about it. No, it's not. Check this out. So we go to one of the stores and uh, uh, from that guy's collection, got so many stories from this weekend, from that guy's collection, uh, we're all buying a bunch of stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff to show off. I'll probably create another small video for that. Um, James actually picked this up and it turns out that he, after looking at it, he had, he, he actually had a box of things that he purchased and um, he wanted this and he grabbed it and we brought it back to my house and after looking at it he realized that he had almost every one of these cars. Um, I was amazed. He said, PJ, if you need this or you want this, it's yours. Check it out. This is the 25th edition of Hot Wheels, Black Wall, uh, not Black Walls, yeah, Black Walls and Ultra Hots and just all American 25th anniversary of Hot Wheels. You see that car right there? That's awesome. Look at that hot bird right there. All behind the blister. Trying to get it all on camera here for you guys. Have to peek over so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Just cool. Just awesome, awesome cars right here. I said the first thing I'm going to look for is a place to, or a way to put it on the wall. Guess what it has on the back? Holes for wall screws. So I will be displaying this somewhere in this small room that I have. Um, the guys got here and they, they walked into my room and I think it looks small because I got every every wall in here covered with Hot Wheels. So, um, But we were able to all fit in here and have a good time and that was really cool and I'm glad the guys came down. Um, next time I'll have to go to Florida to see what Florida offers. Uh, or another state. Maybe I'll go to a... Who knows? I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, I think we all, all should get together uh, more often. Um, I know it's pretty expensive to fly around the country and whatnot, but if we can do it once a year, let's have a YouTuber's convention or something like that. I'm down for it if you guys are. Let me know. Uh, post a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to post another small video uh, to show you some of the things that I personally picked up. Um, post a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Peace.